guys here again and uh, today we have an update video for you guys um i think yeah we do so um today's update is i just upgrade i'm just going to show you what we're doing at the moment and i'll tell you what i have done in the last few days the first thing first we'll get onto that now in a minute uh, here we go i've decided to update this dell attitude 6410 to windows 10. it runs much better on this laptop uh, than windows 7 did um, showing you all together. Look at that. Start menu. Full, full, full. Yeah. Start menu. Yeah. Cool. Right. So yeah, the start menu f uh, f load faster, which is a great thing. So yeah. And I'm f happy. This is running Windows 10 now because it's much faster, much more responsive um, than it used to be. Don't want to say was a good OS, it was just slow and sluggish on this laptop. Like, you know, this only has like a Core i5 in it. Well, meanwhile, as speaking of Windows 10, I'm um, updating my main machine to Windows 10. Why not? This is better. You can see it's upgrading Windows at 9% at the moment. Oh, I started a little while back. Um, it, so far, it took me about at least 80 minutes to get to this step so far so it took me about 80 minutes to just to get to here so um so far so well not 80 minutes about 70 minutes uh, well yeah so i started downloading it around 12 o'clock um that took about 20 minutes to download then the preparing part took about 20 minutes 30 minutes it was very long and well 40 minutes at least um, I say 40 minutes or 30 minutes and that took a long time this should only take 30 minutes as well so really overall it should take about 90 minutes altogether 90 to 100 um, it's only on uh, copying files 35% uh, overall then next it moves on to the drivers and then next after that it moves on to configuring settings it should be quick and that's the quickest part it's drivers and the configuring part is the quickest so far uh, i have seen on my laptop uh, let me just show you this laptop if you don't know again it's the dell attitude 6410 it has four gigabytes of ram i think it may have talked about it once or twice before but i did replace the hard drive one of my previous um i what happened is i was using it one day um I think it was in school, using it for schoolwork, which is what I'm using at the moment. And then the next minute, I think I started, just the drive seized up altogether. And I found out it was a Seagate. Now, I replaced it with a nice Hitachi drive. I'll just show you. It's actually a Hitachi. And I think a lot of people want to know, what drive do you own? What to do to make, to check what's, you go to task manager. There's a new way you can check for the drive without downloading any external programs. Go to performance and disk C. See, you can see this is a Hitachi drive. Um, the model there, this is the drive I have. I bought it actually second hand and I think I got it for about 25 euro. It still works really well. Um, and when this is upgraded to Windows 10, it'd be beautiful because I should, because it's gonna be pretty fast on here. I know. Well, be about the same speed on here at least because that was when April it might be a bit faster, depending. I have found that it works really well. Okay, now this machine, let's see how percent is it now 49%, so it's just about halfway. Should be at 30%, it should be moving on to the drivers or something like that. So, yeah, this could take a little while longer. Hopefully, now the video doesn't go. Because I've heard these systems, yeah, that there's an issue that, that, like, when you put this, when you upgrade the system, I think, oh, I can't remember, if you, if you actually have the, sometimes, now, this might have been, this was earlier on, so, hopefully it still doesn't persist, but it should not persist, um, I, anyway, if it, anything does happen, I have actually, um, the Windows 10 driver for my computer, um, for my NVIDIA graphics card on this USB stick, which, don't mind the branding, um, my father works at that company, he works at, 
my father got it because he works at a company, a worldwide distribution company. Ready? That helps to make those machines. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's his uh, USB stick. I copied the thing was actually on it onto this like on here because I was afraid that how much gigabytes the thing would have taken up, but. Um, I copied it on here and I'm going to copy it back when it's finished. I'm actually going to shut down this because uh, I'm going to go downstairs and play some SSX Tricky. <sighs> you might want to see that. Oh, sometimes, sometimes it kind of freezes the mouse, but nothing too bad. Shut down. It's smooth down here, look. It's just shutting down now. Um, yeah, I upgraded this yesterday and I had no issues, so... Um, uh, as well, my um, there, we have some visitors over at the moment, so, so there we go. That just shut down. Yeah. So yeah, this is at our latitude, um, which is nice. Uh, my fuse is for Windows Ten for the day yesterday. I started using it yesterday on Windows Ten, and um, it's pretty smooth. The upgrade was straightforward. I just had to do is um, the other driver I think was incompatible with the Bluetooth. And that, I don't think it was something to do with I think the Ethernet, but I think it installed the Windows version, so it should be fine. Because this laptop's been out for over about a year now. Oh, no, not years. About five years now, so makes sense that they that people have upgraded these laptops to Windows 10, so yeah. Um, but overall, let's see how far this is finished, and we'll finish up the video. It's only at 15%. Why? 53 percent right anyway uh that's all for today's video sorry i'm just seeing that one my phone is and um, i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll make another update video when this is finished so i'll see you next time goodbye